It's that time of the year when young girls in West Pokot region are in danger. A majority of these innocent children forced to undergo FGM as part of being initiated into adulthood. The practice which has dominated most pastoral communities has been on the decline in the past few months due to sensitization. However, anti-FGM crusaders say the war to eradicate FGM practice is far from over. Well, if your provincial administ administration was to reinforce your sharia, ili watoto wasichana wasi sukumwe uh, kutairiwa kwa sababu wazazi katika sehemu hii uh, mara wana 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 wanawaambia watoto wao kama wanasikia filimbi ambayo inapigwa na wale wasichana wengine wanataka kukeketwa basi wanawaambia na ninyi mbona mmekuwa baridi msiende kupiga filimbi pia we not only target the youths but we also target um, me, women, we target uh, men, we, we target leaders, and so we really want to know uh, them to know and uh, to run away from FGM so that they impress education. While pleading with the government to stand firm in protecting the voiceless in society, the anti-FGM crusaders say they are still being faced with a myriad of challenges, especially when residents opt to migrate to the neighboring Uganda in search of food and pasture. Uh, miji mitatu ya watoto yatima na kuna watoto miatatu katika kila hiyo huo mji tuna mji moja huko uh, Chamolingot ambayo iko Baringo tuna miji miwili katika West Pokot moja iko katika Kodich na Kaurio ambao uh, wana, wana watoto miatatu miatatu na tunawasomesha hawa kutoka nursery mpaka university at least close to 1,000 girls have been rescued from undergoing circumcision and are being supported at the Kodich Rescue Center in both West Pokot and Temolingot in Baringo County. Brenda Chariot, K24 Newscut.